This conference will now be recorded. नमस्कार कोरोना कोविड 19 कालीन लॉकडाउन में आयुर्वेदीय एवं आयुर्वेद टीचर्स एसोसिएशन आयोजित आयुर्वेदीय अभ्यास माला में आपका सभी का स्वागत है आज 25 अप्रैल वैद्य योगेश काले हमारे साथ हैं पुणे से है और उनके जो दो सत्र हुए हैं भगना चिकित्सा के बारे में उसका आगे वाला जो सत्र है वो उसमें आज हमें कुछ जो बचा हुआ आगे वाला जो मार्गदर्शन है वो करेंगे उनके साथ आज हमसे जुड़े हुए वैद्य त्रिलोक धोपेश्वरकर सर का भी आज स्वागत करता हूं और काले सर को ऐसी विनती करता हूं कि वो अपना प्रेजेंटेशन शुरू करें जैसे कि हमने कल देखा है शास्त्र पार्ट ऑफ इट एंड सीन दीडियो ऑफ धारा ऑफ वगन ले and uh, pichu and we would be going uh, continuing further uh, with the details of the same uh, yesterday while going through the details we saw that uh, we we are seeing some few cases related to the same uh, i was explaining about uh, let me just re, uh, re, give you a recap of this we have seen cases of children balyanam Well, the Shastra Vachan it is uh, held in one month in U U R uh, patient. It is uh, held the Bhagna is held in two months, and in Vruddha Vasa it is held in three months. Is the Shastra Vachan. Accordingly, we have to plan treatment for Bhagna. That is the protocol. And uh, in this U R Vasa, what are the different time of patients that I had been able to handle, and which are the uh, that that is the part what we were discussing about i am also bound to give you a demarcating line between the patients which are to be handled in opd setups the patients which need good setups or you may have uh, opds but uh, you need a good infrastructure and the patient particularly to be handled in ipd setups so this would be also my uh, intent in the further discourse i was explaining that for shoulder dislocation uh, many a times it happens that you uh, you get patient only for dislocation of shoulder some dislocations are quite easier to be handled on the face on the place where the dislocation and it is just few uh, of few minutes second part is you need certain instruments and a chikitsale where you need the dislocation to be relocated and some dislocations are so fatal that they would need an hospitalization and they could be referred to a surgical situation also are the experiences of it now occult dislocation and tibia and uh, fracture of tibia fracture, fracture this is one of the uh, uh, case i would be discussing in the later part tibia the current fracture i explained yesterday now fracture of patella fracture or dislocation of patella now it happens that it is a very uh yeah, uh in few days before uh, i had a case and uh, he was an it uh, person having a very good uh, physique about 6 feet tall and 80 85 kg of weight and was very active uh, sports person in the ball and uh, he met with a road accident with a outstretched leg and he fell down on his bike the speed wasn't that much but the patella had broken into minimum of 11 pieces small part now this patient came uh, was uh, admitted in a local hospital and i had been uh, on a visit over there so what happened to this uh, th- in this case i saw the patient and i explained him this is uh, according to us it is anubagna and you would need an admission uh, for the same for about 7 to 8 days 
and then you need a rest of one month uh, in all and then you can start on with your job and get better one and a half month of home stay in uh, so he was uh, convinced that yes uh, the treatment because i convinced him that it is not only about it would be uh, done with ayurvedic manner without going through a surgery and the physiotherapy and everything would be included in the same period of rehabilitation you need not have to go for physiotherapy again uh, then the next day uh, i received the message from him that uh, he are going for the operative he took uh, uh, this decision because the company has assured that whatever the treatment bills would be they would be for even minimum stay in the hospital so uh, this fracture uh, this patella uh, fracture being operated the next day he was discharged and on the 15th day he was allowed to walk and on the uh, 15th day he uh, on the 3rd week he was asked to uh, move uh, from his bed and uh, so eventually hello hello yeah uh, so uh, this is the patient took this decision of going with an surgery only because to the of two reasons because of the easy uh, because the, the the bills would be paid by the by the company office and uh, second part was the uh, locomotive he was uh, mobility he was after the surgery it was advised that he would be uh, mobile on uh, in third week only and so he took this surgery took this op opinion whereas on my opinion it was that i had advised him to stay home at least for three weeks so with all these scenarios after about a month i received a phone call from him and uh, his relatives complained me that uh, he was fine with the surgery everything went fine he also attended the office for two days and on the third day the swelling of the ankle uh, of the knee, uh, knee joint is double that that was previous when he had a fall so i asked him uh, that i would need an examination and so he was called to the hospital like it and examining the shows on the knee joint and everything i i asked him what had went wrong so he told that they were doing physiotherapy and i went with the office and started working and i was using the crutches and uh, everything the uh, everything was going as per their rules but uh, the pain in physiotherapy was tremendous and still the one day of my work to the office made me uh, uh, made this uh, situation more a bit difficult and i couldn't move it and it is having a tremendous swelling so all this uh, scenario uh, uh, was uh, difficult for him to handle with uh, physiotherapy and painkiller and so he now opted with an option of taking ayurvedic treatment so i told him the same would be the scenario in the previous case if i had told you to stay home at uh, for three weeks now again i would need ask you to stay home or to go with the treatment for at least a month or so so the situation has not changed again we need to do the same now previously it was only abhigataja vata show now it is abhigataja and dushchikitsit due to the surgery and the surgery complications of the surgery the dhatu savanan has gone very bad and now we need to since it is operated and now we need to again have the water break up of all those things and you staying at home for three weeks increasing creating more uh, uh, agat on your agni now we have to and all these things and that would be uh, the complications for your uh, treatment of agni it was very fine then uh, he started with uh, we started with dhara pichu and uh, due to dhara pichu uh, 50 to 60% of the swelling after Uh, five days was reduced and everything went normal and after the resetting he found that his condition is much better the mobility and the flexion of the leg is achieved much more better now why am i discussing this case because this was okay people you convince the patient for a uh, treatment in ayurveda and he goes with that but again it happens that uh, something some uh, at the last moment something may go wrong and he may go to a surgery also but after the surgery also the patient may turn back to you and see as i was discussing yesterday of the scopes and limits of burner this happens that you have to treat patient sometimes they are fresh directly with you and because of the fear of surgery sometimes they suffer 
with complications after the surgery especially in the rehabilitation now this is a very important area where we need to work on we had yesterday someone questioned me that whether uh, what is the rule that you use for ligament tear and uh, all those things okay? so if we are dealing with fracture obviously with janu sandhi it is always it is vaikalya karamaruma so it is always a, a difficult situation in janu sandhi it is ne- never neither or a, or a simple ligament tear to a major trauma to a patellar fracture so fracture and ligament tear all these things anything might be nothing is very simple so everything is going to take its own course depending upon the dusham desham balam kalana of every individual so we have to take into consideration all the factors the age of the patient the uh, abhigat the nature of abhigat and the vata prakop due to all these so we have to take all these conditions into consideration and treat the patient that's more important so ligament here i think very different to be thought of yes you have to keep keep in mind what is the ayurvedic fact uh, perspective towards it and follow the same pattern in ligament tear some times you may need pradeha which are rushna sometimes you may need jaloka ucharan which are necessary to be done and uh, all those things to be followed so this is a very uh, important part that patella sometimes there is a dislocation of patella it is not it is a uh, just a twist of 40 to 90 degrees that and this is also a condition that arises so you get dislocations you get fractures uh, you get abhigata as i was yesterday explaining yesterday of the tbi all the things now to a fracture which is of the hasta pada anguli now this is a very what you could say a uh, unique area uh, on previous discussions uh, day before yesterday uh, some day before yesterday we do ganesham martha was also explaining one of the cases of hasta pada anguli bhaga now uh, you would be surprised to have that uh, here that we are generally fe- we have a fear that what about if the hand uh, the tip of the finger is cut off now what would happen uh, so we have such cases to n uh, uh, to explain to you that uh, once it happened that one of my uh, patient uh, and young boy was uh, cleaning his pulses the he was cleaning with the chain of the pulse he was cleansing it and uh, the motor was on and it happened to have a trauma in which the upper uh, uh, the tip of the finger was caught between the running motor and the uh, the chain and that it it was just cut off and uh, due to which there was severe bleeding uh, there was no further part that only it was cut off to at least to 90% so there was a tip and uh, with in which there was the nail embedded in which there was the fracture of the bone embedded in it and uh, with all these things he went to a surgical hospital nearby aldigo hospital is just next to sunuru chikitsala being an orthopedic hospital they asked him to get admitted and uh, just for, it was a surgery to be done and they told him that they could get everything would get better just it's an operation minute needed and everything but he he didn't want to go for this surgery and uh, he uh, approached punorosis again the simple treatment in that uh, part was also the same which yes yes i was explaining yesterday first the cleansing was done of the vrana with yashtigra then sadya vrana lep or sadya vrana churna uh, uh, kalka was applied which is yasht tilak kalka and madhu this was applied over the thing and a pichu of muruvenna tel was tied around with a uh, finger and a guard bandha was applied over there with this he was called for follow up after 3 days and uh, then further the dhara and pichus were done and uh, eventually after one and a half month for his his vrana was uh, ruhiyaman within uh, 15 21 days but for his curiosity he repeated an x ray of the same after say was 3 months or period and he it to his surprise the x ray which was previous was showing that the filament the tip of the finger was uh, this uh, was uh, removed and in the next uh, x-ray he found that the part the tip has grown up again so now after 6 months he has all the uh, fingers of the same height and same proportion as they were before now why did i explain this case so here i just to explain if the 
आघात इफ देर इज अ शर ऑफ पर्टिक्युलर अंगुली दॅट ऑल्सो कॅन रिडेव्हलप बिकॉज ही वॉज अ यंग चाइल्ड यंग स्पोर्ट पर्सन ऑफ एटीन इयर नाईन्टीन इयर्स ऑफ एज फाईन इट इज गुड बट इट कॅन हॅपन इन इफ इट कॅन हॅपन ओवर इयर टू दूथ ऑल्सो इट कॅन हॅपन अँड इफ अथर कॅन बी ऑफ एनी अंग कॅन बी रिडेव्हलप देन व्हाय कॅन द भगन डे गेट डेव्हलप सो इफ देर इज अ भगन ऑफ फर्स्ट पाद अंगुली द सेम प्रोटोकॉल्स टू बी फॉलोड फर्स्ट एज पर द नेसेसिटी यूज धारा then you use labor and then you use bandha now as necessary in the pada after pada angoli bhagna we have to keep in mind here the kushas are quite different the kusha someone sometimes may be a uh, small ice cream sticks sometimes they may small uh, way, uh, as we were seeing yesterday of the bamboo stick sometimes even a pencil half cut off uh, to, uh, to the vertical of it can be used and accordingly we have to see that it is having good sthiri karan so using a perfect kusha then putting a good bandage around it and doing sthiri karan of the same is much more important so we have to be cautious over here see to it always compare it with if it is of the hand compare it with the second finger so that you can find what is uh, going wrong and what is to be achieved and then as per yes if we had seen yesterday necessary parts you get traction and then if it is unnata you have to make it abanata make it down press it above and against the kusha have a samashithilna and you can have bhagnas of hasta padanguli then very well. now situation when there is padanguli bhagna or when a carpel or when the manibandhandi or the anchor joints are involved then it becomes a bit more complicated because it's a sandhi uh, uh, sometimes it is a sandhi moksha and avagna then it becomes a bit complicated issue now a uh, situation of uh, rib fracture this, that is a very common fracture you can uh, you do not need a very uh, strong abhighat for having a rib getting fractured in any in, maybe in adult or any be in uh, children uh, or in young young patient also a very small uh, simple uh, abhighat can sometimes lead to a major bhagna it's upon uh, it might be just due to uh, uh, falling on the same side with the elbow joint hit to the uh, to the rib of yours and you can have a bhagna of the same sometimes there is externally some uh, piercing object in an accident maybe you are entangled somewhere and compress somewhere then also there can be a bhagna then that can take place sometimes in some sports due to some injuries also maybe a uh, heart uh, in cricket or maybe in football in hockey if there is a strong injury or even in sports like mallakham you can have this injury of having a parushuka bandhana uh, because the whole situation is it is not about the impact the size of the impact or the force of the impact it is where the impact takes place and sometimes it may take place in the on the angulation and where it can have a bandhana and so again the condition is very simple in modern sciences there is nothing different done for it except a chest belt but in ours it's very simple what you can do you can just uh, apply some pichu you can uh, put on a strap bandage for the same you can apply lap and you can apply this strap bandages along with uh, the uh, the uh, cushioning that is necessary that you can put it around the, you can put around the rib cage follow so these are certain things that you can follow uh, in parshuka bhagna so very simple uh, i would share a case over here uh, one of uh, a white again uh, was uh, she is a, a patient of mine and a student of mine and was uh, 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 in her fourth, fifth month of pregnancy and uh, due to certain uh, reason we had to uh, travel on uh, her two wheeler and uh, to take her uh, in laws to hospital and something went wrong and she had a fall on the bike and uh, in which she had a the handle of the bike uh, activa which was hit on the right side of her chest and due to which there was a parshuka bhagna over there uh, the parshuka bhagna was uh, understood because uh, it was a agha and there was a trauma she went everything was fine but later on as after 15 days the pain wasn't reduced 
so of the chest and then uh, searching on that you could uh, she landed up and she told me and then we had a examination and uh, understood that this was a bhagna due to that aghat but for few days there was no particular pain uh, immediately over there and so this uh, many times the bhagna of parishukas may be masked also these masked bhagnas may aggravate due to advana and then this masked bhagnas pains due to this masked bhagnas can may aggravate due to Uh, pains of atma uh, due to atma and also and uh, so in her case also it was necessary that the bhagna sandhana place along with the garbhini avastha offers for the next because there was nothing different we could do neither could we do dhara over there neither we could give her basti to a man and still but there was needed it was needed that the bhagna sandhana takes place proper so uh, such a uh, uh, Hassles may come around with anyone. Okay, so it is a durbagya again of the patient, but it happened, and we had to uh, take this consideration and uh, do the necessary things. Now, again, so we, we apart from this. Uh, uh, uh young age we have patients with old age especially uh, old age patient they fall on the head or on the sacrum and all the ilium and there is kapalasti bhagna so kapalasti is especially the uh, shirak kapal uh, the skull or you can have this uh, uh, even the scapula or even the trikasti or the ilium now all these patients are uh, uh, have due to age there is vata prakop then there is a, a severe abhighata and there is marma abhighat also due to which there might be severe bleeding there might be murcha there might be dhatukshaya dubalya abhighata janni murcha and it may some cases lead to cobatic state also now for all these cases what is the treatment that ayurved can give now many times it happens that you get patient with a, a ct scan done mri done and there is hematoma over there there is midline shift and all these things happen okay uh, due to the hematoma but again here the principles do not change yes the condition of the general patient and the condition of the bhagna are important to be understood and important to be treated yes but along with that what is the treatment of bhagna is necessarily for us to and necessary to be shared So what happens that if there is a kapalasti bhagna, it might be pitchy the, or there might be just a trauma to the uh, abhighata of water. There might be subcutaneous uh, some there. There might be a hematoma over there also, and uh, uh, least time there is heavy bleeding. Share few examples over here. One of a patient, she was uh, of age 87 years of age. and uh, she fell down and she was a mother of a vaidya of a teacher of mine and there was she fell down on the uh, fell on the back side and so the occipital uh, part there was a severe bleeding over there and uh, this bleeding after the bleeding one of the vaidyas uh, who was next to uh, the patient house visited the place and then he did the necessary first aid and he applied some churna maybe a hygienic uh, churna over there and uh, had a very strong bandage uh, around it and due to which the bleeding was stopped there were in old age especially in women there are lots of hairs and this uh, patient was uh, uh, was uh, having a long bleeding or a long and those were and so the runner was within this uh, hairs so once the uh, doctor of course that is my teacher shri guru she went and uh, she was curious to see how deep is the wound and so she just tried to remove this upper part the bleed wound started bleeding again and so it was so immense that the patient collapsed she fell down and so she was immediately got to pudoru chikitsala in an ambulance and then we first of all instead of looking into the deep the most important part to stop the bleeding that is to be done and so you do skandana now in, when we are in a chikitsala we have all the equipment and so you can use yashti gurutva just take maximum yashti gurutva or murvanna tail and then take churna maybe arjun churna lodra churna whatever is there you can press it tight and then 
hold it as tight that you can hold at least for 5 to 10 minutes then over that if there is no for fresh bleeding over that you can try a kadali patra or a plastic cord and over that again you can just untie the whole situ whole uh, uh, uh bandha over there and see to it that there is for the next 2 hours there is just wait and watch for bleeding to happen and watch the examine the condition of the patient with all those things done uh, this patient was uh, seeing her age understanding the history of uh, bleeding she was admitted in pune rose in her admitter admitted the next day we were, we were prepared with all the set about and we were thinking that we have to examine one day or the other what is the uh, depth of the wound and so then uh, the preparation because there was immense bleeding the previous day uh, the hairs were all with uh, the clot in that the blood and so it was needed that she had uh, the all the hairs were needed to be cut and in such a case with old age we have take a consent of the patient and that was a tough uh, job too but she was very was a nurse by profession in her own life so she was very cooperative and uh, for that she uh, asked her. so all the hairs were removed and then the actual site of location of the wound was understood it was on the occipital clitoral bone and the wound was about 3 to 4 inches in spread and one and uh, about half a inch in uh, the depth and it was a l shaped wound and uh, understanding the wound we cleaned it again we put uh, applied yst gurutha over there and uh, along with that arjun churana was uh, put over there and it was tied again uh, then there was no uh, vyapad over there but on the fourth night of this admission uh, of the patient immediately one day night she was having durbal clama and jwara so jwara ran up to uh, 104 is in mercury so then uh, due to this we were not worried about the jwara but the more important part was the condition of the patient now in this situation the gen the vrana or the avastha of vrana was part was not a important thing now now marma rakshan or the prana rakshan or the uh, uh, prana rakshan was then very important part so jwara was uh, as due to part one is upadrav of the vyadi of the abhighat or grana and then part is like it is something as aristotle so we kept our mind we started the chit of jwara also and along with that there was tremendous bleeding from the wound site so we had to apply ice gauze or ice packs over there and from one side we were doing sheetha chikitsa for the shira to reduce the grana to reduce the extensive bleeding and second side we were doing treatment for reducing the jwara uh, also and third side we were increasing the prana bal or the deha uh, of the root so a very simple situation i was explaining why do, why am i explaining this case in detail because you get a case with shirobighata and vrana and there is bleeding uh, and the patient you you can treat her at home also you can treat her on a pd basis also but sometimes it may turn fatal and in this case it turned fatal into after two days or after the fourth day of the admission at night there was heavy internal bleeding and then she was treated and the next two days the jwara went down and the vrana was good condition was good and the patient was discharged on the 9th or 10th day of the admission and later on she held she lived a very healthy life for next 7 to 8 years so the why am i explaining the detail sometimes the vrana uh, uh, site may look very small or uh, the hitus may look very alpobal but the parinama might be complete and if we don't have a proper set over there then it becomes very difficult so what is the take home from this case that if at all you need to treat a vrana who have, which has stopped you don't know the exact size of the vrana you don't know the depth of the runner and have heard that there was heavy bleeding so be prepared with all necessary vyapada that might come to uh, come due to treat so be prepared with uh, good assistant be prepared with good number of gauze good ample of cotton gauze ample of runner thambana shadi like yashti gurutha muruvanna tel arjun lotra churna all those things to the maximum size or gerich whatever needed with all things doing that 
then uh, be prepared and then first of all it's necessary to see the wound it is uh, not good just to tie up if it is in the hairs if it is a, uh, uh, in the goyas pane especially the guda or as asmanta then we have to see to it that uh, we actually see the vrnasthan also and then we do the under and uh, all things is necessary so uh, a very simple like uh, vrna may lead to uh, sometimes it may be fatal now here we uh, should not be uh, over cautious of the situation but should be very much prepared for whatsoever that may come to you uh, uh, vrna uh, the abhigat on the scapula or the parshva sometimes you may not uh, di- diagnose it many times it is uh, not diagnosed in the x rays also and sometimes you need to take a special ct scan to understand the vrna uh, or the uh, fracture of a scapula but it is necessary that uh, these cases are uh, examined clinically well so that you will get the details of it now uh, for example uh, one of the ilium uh, fractures of ilium or fractures of the uh, ischium also these again come into uh, kapala bhag asti bhagna and uh, the treatment is again the same you have to use pichu dhara band all these things but when these happen you have to understand that it is in old age so all vatagna chikitsa to be done to the maximum now sandhi moksha of a mandible joint so it is very common uh, in old age when there is mounsta kshaya and dhatu darbalya to the maximum you find that mandible may easily drop out and what happens that the mouth is kept open and uh, there is nothing uh, that the patient can speak and uh, to uh, it becomes a very difficult situation now then taking maximum amount of effort to uh, do snehana of the do sneha purana and take a pichu of yasht gurutva or murvenna tail or narayan tail what's so available tail is it and then push the mandible to the back and then again push it upside so there is uh, you have to do it very skillfully and then towards tie the uh, bandage around the head and the mandible so uh, around the ears and keep it uh, like that for maybe 8 to 10 hours now in this condition orally you have to uh, see to it that the patient doesn't speak then all, all liquid diet to be kept uh, on is necessary you can sanic snehan nastya that are more better important over here so dislocation of mandal mandible joint and treatments of it and giving mouse bala uh, bruhana uh, chikitsa and adding up mouse bala is necessary in the further part of the treatment parshuka bhagna we have seen you know, ankle joint dislocations we have spoken of and i would be discussing a case later on now mostly shoulder joint and hip joint dislocations or a fracture are the commonest in old age and for which ipds are more necessary now complications and failures yes many a times on opd level it happens that uh, you may feel that you have done the bhagna chikitsa very better and the patient goes home and lands up in severe pain and uh, then maybe he takes some pain killer or thing of that kind and uh, you it is not known to you or sometimes patient falls and uh, goes to another person also so and uh, as i was explaining yesterday the best understanding that whether the dhara how to understand that whether the treatment whatever we are doing is going on uh, successfully so as i was explaining yesterday that if we do a dhara and we get at least a relief of 50 to 60% in the pain of the situation as on the pain has arrived then doing a, a pichu or doing a lace and putting a, a sama shithila bandha is enough nothing more to be done sometimes if you have conditions where the patient has had a uh, bhagna and there is uh, the condition is of churnita type or there are multiple fragments or asti churna type or majjanugata type where one setting won't be enough in such a condition it is necessary that you should advise the patient that yes even though you have got relief 50 to 60% but again this would aggravate the late night or atha prokopil and then there would be aggravation uh, ho- hoping that he is following all the advices we have told him but still that may aggravate sometimes so at that particular patient time if he doesn't uh, report you back 
and on his own he does something different is also a possibility sometimes such patients are also uh, in vicinity to many other people because in uh, our uh, you could say in country uh, uh, we know that what happens with patient oriel that one patient would have 100 of people around him giving 200 and more opinions and then uh, the patient may turn go to someone else also and then uh, there might be the surgery of your uh, diagnosis and treatments over there and uh, these patients may sometime go to an allopathic hospital and get themselves admitted and all those things may happen also so the confidence of the patient the uh, treatment explaining him the cause what is the uh, treatment that you are going to give explaining him of the fruits that we are going to have or the outcome of the result all these things are necessary to avoid complications and to avoid failure as i told yesterday the most important thing patient needs to be atmavan so he need to have he needs to have shraddha shraddha to in you he needs to understand you should be accessible to him and there should be a setup that he should feel that he would be confident handled and get relief over here so all these things help sometimes it happens that if the pain is there and you are confident that it is going to uh, heal but the bhagna sandan has not been uh, taken properly then whatsoever you do the pain is not going to reduce unless the bhagna is sandan bhagna sandan is done properly so if you the communion or if the traction is done properly if the uh, treatment is done properly generally it doesn't happen that you to again uh, remove the plast or remove the cast within uh, 8 to 10 hours of the treatment you have done so uh, it might happen in particular case but this is very simple that you need to follow these thumb rules so that you don't fall in uh, prey of complications and failures in pathology case so we would see two cases a few cases of pathology uh, 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 that are handled on opd level with the film with the excellent pictures of the same so here is a patient she is a old lady of 75 years of age and uh, she was uh, she fell on the outstretched hand and this is what happened to the uh, manibandha sandhi of her so you can see that it is like a karna and a pichita type of bhagna and dislocation together so now you see that this is uh, the ulna spana uh, lower one third and here there are it is churnita type of so one two three and four parts of the ulna and the radius is done in two parts and this this question over here you see that this part is gone up and also over here there is this location so here i would uh, this is the complex case that you can have and such a patient who is no longer going to come to an ayurvedic treatment and uh, just do it but uh, this patient was uh, shraddha one and uh, was being treated for other cases over here and they had full faith in pudar rasu and say approach over here so now this is the first x ray that we have seen and i would just be speaking this case on x rays and this is the x ray that is done after one and a half month so you find that this is getting ossified the part which is outside over here is coming inside this is a lot as you see the this is angulation over here of 45 more degree here it is it comes in alignation over here so all these things are getting better okay now how to diagnose yesterday we were, we had a question that you know, what is the diagnostic tool whether we have an x ray or how to see that whether the patient is getting better or not so uh, where is famous and what you would say statement from vaidya sanjay penchish should be very important for all of you so two statements he makes while addressing the students and to all the vaidyas also that first of all unlearning is the first step to learn so as it is a very particularly a uh, system of vaidya trilok dopeshwar karkar and all the seniors who do treatment in it that they keep apart the modern diagnosis so they are not misguided because having something known may mislead you so to first understand the case by its own merits according to ayurveda is more important so understand the patient as i was explaining yesterday understand the age of the patient defend the dushat dusham desham balam kalam adi bhav of the patient do darshana parikshan do sparshana prashna do prashna pariksha 
all these things you do pariksha of the rugna and the vyadhi and then you come to a conclusion that what is it now here in bhagna what is important that the second part was with the sanjay pente always says that modern investigations do not lead you all to good ayurvedic diagnosis because modern and investigations are completely different and ayurvedic diagnosis can sometimes may be completely different now what comes in bhagna it is as many would say that it is just calcification there is do we say that uh, this is not a bhagna if we see it on the x-ray that there is cracks here and there. do we disagree with it so my answer would be with uh, all the experience uh, i would say that yes this what we see over here in the x-rays is calcification it is bone it is calcium and what not called in them according to ayurveda this can't be a complete bhagna to understand the bhagna we have to understand the karmanumayatva and the lakshanas which we have seen on the first slide when we say this is kanda the lakshanas on those and the ukshay the abhav of lakshana the kriya saukarya the shof rahitatva and most important the dharana shakti of asti dhatu are the important factors we have to keep in mind to understand the treatment of bhagna of upashe and anupashe with the result of this so just an x-ray mere x-ray will always mislead you that is what i want to emphasize in this video over here so why do i say this let's go with one case this case is of the same patient now is we have seen the x-rays and now we see the pictures now this is the first day okay maybe not the first picture so this is uh, after the dhara uh, uh, you were having a pick of it this is i just list it over here so that you understand how the dhara is made take uh, take a uh, tub uh, below or a tray below steel tray and this is the animal pot you animal pot in which you take the oil you can use some cotton go, some uh, but like that so that you can use this uh, uh, dhara over here that can be you can use dhara for dharas you can use uh, some uh, cotton gauzes and do a complete dhara now the bhagna sthan is this one this is having shotha it is having a uh, krikashtada it is having tivra vedana and the patient is in immense pain and then you do dhara to the entire hand right from the elbow joint till the tip of the finger you rest it well give it a good position of which i was explaining yesterday taking him and making him suitable to the dhara as it is necessary to be done now after the dhara and the patient went further this was the relief with it so this is the hand same hand and you see that uh, after few days maybe after two weeks this was the condition and uh, this is the situation of the patient after a, a, a month and so this is the situation that she could extend the entire of the hand and she could flex the fingers all together and you except the radius the rest of the thing i have gone right only this part needs to be much more better now now in comparison with the both the hands she had started functioning well within a period of two months. now here at the same time uh, i had an uh, four different cases of manibandha sandhi at the same time being treated the one patient or within them who had a much easier fracture than what we have seen in this previous she went with k wire she went with the modern in a surgical treatment there and stuck up due to mal union and so other doctor told that it needs to be removed and uh, physiotherapy needs to be done and so that that movements would be proper now the benefit of ayurvedic treatment is compared to modern sciences or the modern modern treatment that here we would after every 3 or 5 or 7 days we would be opening the bhagna situation we would be doing dhara we would be asking the patient to hold and hold thing we would be doing asking the patient to do necessary movement we would be examining the patient thoroughly secondly we would be doing pichu dhara le there is a possibility for us to change the dravya if there is rag as you see over here after the lepo there was a rag arasata over here 
less condo no critical sometimes you have run out so due to the late but all these situations considering all the situation we have a possibility to make n number of changes in our treatment and which is very rare in modern sciences you they put you in a car and for maybe 41 days or so in the car then they would start with physiotherapy that is true and here in bhagna we say that no vyayam is vyayam atap or all varja and here you in uh, the modern surgical treatment vyayam is immediately physiotherapy is immediately started so n number of things and still we would see that the recovery with dara pichu bandh lep is much more better than the surgery and uh, 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 physiotherapy followed with. So, as I was uh, explaining today, that interactive work needs to be done. So, these are the areas which we should work in comparison with, so that we can give better to the mankind and to the society. It's not to prove which pathway is good or which pathway is bad. It is to give something good to the society. So, uh, if we work on these patterns, if someone gets an opportunity to work with the uh, to do their post graduation or MDs or PCs. They should work in such directions that would be very much, much more fruitful for themselves and for the fraternity. We take a different second case now. Now here I am just giving few examples. Such cases are many. N number of cases are being treated not only in Pune or Osu but everywhere in on many villages with many villages all around. I would just give one, uh, a few quotes. Okay, uh, this is a X-ray of a patient which was done on 29th of March of this month. Right after 21 days, this is the situation. Now this patient, with uh, the lockdown all going around, you see that uh, there is a fracture of the radius. Here is a or again a fracture. This is the angulation due to the fracture that has been, and then there is shorts and everything over here. Now again in this period of lockdown and uh, the situation, this patient of age 67, 65 years of age. With two major illnesses around, opted. Uh, she was in Dinanand Hospital, and they opted that they are not going to go for surgery. So they went on with uh, the Hara Lep, which was uh, with Pune Rosu Chikitsalay and whatever treatment stores. And uh, due to the lockdown, we were very confined that we couldn't call the patient every now and then after three to five days, seven days. So we had to call the patient on seventh day of every follow-up. So first the Hara was done. That was a Sunday late night. It, it was done. Dara Pichu and uh, then she was called on after twelve seven days, seven days and seven days. On on the twenty one day, this is the situation of the burglar. Here, what are the situation? What is the condition that the alignment is much more proper, right? There is fixation of this much more better taking place. Moreover, I would so show you some. These are some videos. If I think so that they should work. If it works, this is on that. 14th day picture and this is on the 21th day. Let's see if it stands. Hold on. Hopefully, this video should be open. So, on the 21th day. i was uh, the situation of this patient was there was swelling all over here the and this was it was swollen and on that 14th day the swelling has got gone down much less think so the hyperlink is not opening I would just set it down. Yeah, I would be showing you two films. Of the same patient on the 14th day and the 21st day. So what happened?
We are asking the patient to open the wrist of the patient. Yeah, she is asked to open. We have given support over here. Without this support, yeah, there is pain here that the patient says. So this is the situation on the. So this is the situation of the patient on the 14th day of the uh, bhagna. So that is that is on 12th of April. That this is the situation. The vrana, the show has is there, but there is very less of vibrania on the inner side. This is the hold that she can see. See this. Even though there is no bhagna on this side. And we see the next that is on the twenty-one day. Sorry. So yesterday, uh, someone had asked me when I was explaining about the lip being tied, and uh, this is a uh, this is a rough situation. It is all the this is a lip over here of PhD Dr. Chandan Manjish and little bit of Bajrang lip in it. And over this we had tied the Kadali Patra, and I have just removed this. I have haven't given any wash of water to this, and it is removed. The lip is removed, but find that the still there is ardhrata in the. So important point what I will make that even with this being a, a, a Grishma Rutu, the leaves are un understood to be kept for three days only. But this patient after seven days also in this heat in the lockdown period we couldn't ask the patient to come to the chikitsale every fifth or third day. So we extended keeping a minute watch on Lakshana's offer. And there was no apadav, or there is no padrav, or there is no pitika, or it, there is no daha anywhere, or kandu. So uh, just to give an ex, uh, uh, just to share that it is not always the same situation. You have to keep a minute watch on the lakshanas. That is more important. Here on the 21th day, you see that the uh, patient is able to move points of uh, his hand, and uh, there is good of. The Grana Show Calculator. So, coming back to the point that it is not always that a thumb rule that you follow this thing always. You have to keep a minute watch on the patient's lakshanas 
and accordingly you have to come to conclusion that what is to be what is needed to be done so uh, with these two uh, slides i think so we we are coming to an end to this part one of uh, our uh, uh, lecture and uh, i would just uh, uh, make a quick shift to part two There are many terms going at the same time to uh, show that it is a bit folded. Uh, it needs some time for the computer because it is getting too warm. So with this uh, coming to end, we end with part one. What we have seen from yesterday is the scopes and limits of Bhagavad Gita, concept of Bhagavad Gita, that is the Shastra the methodology material have been seen inside the data and OPD cases. And now, last part that is left is to see the IPD cases. So, we would uh, go to part two and uh, see to the uh, cases of IPD of Bhagavad Gita. So hopefully after this, uh, there would be all questions that are coming to the in the mind should be uh, stopped with. Uh, so enter to the next part of I think Karma. Till then, if uh, there are questions that uh, may need to be uh, asked. We can go ahead. I get the slides on my board. If there is some questions or someone wants to share his experiences, or as there are some seniors over here, they want to uh, give their inputs, they are always welcome. Yeah, I continue. Uh, now we go to the second part of the uh, discussion of Bhagna uh, Chikitsa. Yeah, it's uh, it's loaded with too much of uh, information for here, and so being overburdened, it is taking some time to restart. Uh, I would be ready to take some questions till the in the meanwhile if there are any. Yes, Vijay Kumar. 
any question since it's a technical part which is taking time i can uh, proceed on with case of humerus fracture and post surgical stiffness Can Dara be still done? Yeah. Uh, good question. Uh, I was explaining yesterday that many times we need to have patients which come to us uh, due to uh, complications of the uh, fracture. Or as I told yesterday, that sometimes we don't uh, get the patient. Uh, 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 the patient doesn't really uh, reveal any treatment also for few days. So what can be done? Whether Dara can be useful or not? So of course Dara is necessary. How so long? Because whatever the period you start the treatment uh, with dara, that must for uh, things to be. But because uh, uh, even though it is late, this, uh, while explaining, I had one more case of uh, clavicular fracture. Uh, old lady of age about 72 years of age. Uh, she came with uh, to the clinic uh, and uh, with a fracture of the clavicle the lateral one third was uh, not uh, having a one before she had and a trauma and she went to the local doctor since she was in the rural place there are as i told you yesterday that there are many uh uh hard over there so at one of the places she uh did some lip and all those things and uh, there was no good uh, treatment for her and the uh, union of uh, bones wasn't in place and uh, the complaint of hers was not having a, 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 a crack in the uh, clavicle. So the clavicle was in two pieces. Uh, so there was no problem. The only problem was that she couldn't shift her hand above the uh, shoulder joint. And uh, otherwise there was no pain. Uh, the clavicle uh, was uh, having a crack, having a complete tear. But she was interested to have the treatment so, so that she could have mobility of her hand completely. Here it was very interesting that it was the last one third, one third left. So we had to dhara and then put a ball inside the uh, the uh, armpit and do bandha uh, lip chikitsa for next one month or so. And after that, to uh, the surprise of all, that there was union reunion again, and uh, the bandha san was we previously could feel the. the and the auto or the Shabda Pravartan at the Bhagnasthana. And later on, after one and a half months, everything was fine and she was having good movements of the hands also. So it is more important that uh, Dhara Pichu, if it, even though it's late, uh, the, uh, the main line of treatment is the same. So we have to start from Dhara and Pichu, that is more important. So Bhagnasthana, Position of the of body, which person we had. Yeah, uh, I would take some questions. Like, uh, let's uh, since the slides have started, we would show on back to the slide. So now here, uh, I was explaining. Now it's be very attentive over here. I what I am trying to explain that we we have to understand that which uh, uh, which is the differentiation between patient of OPD level minor treatment, OPD levels major, and IP only. So now after uh, this is the just a chart for the 20 cases that I had decided to discuss upon uh, in the in the data before. So the red one ones ones are the ones which are of uh, uh, indoor organa and the blue ones are on of the uh, OPD bone. So now in the red ones we have a maxillary fracture bone, we have the uh, uh, fracture of the uh, humerus, we have the fracture of the clavicle even and even a uh, uh, joint of humor head that be a fracture the angle dislocation the fractures of spine of uh, 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 thoracic vertebra of the lumbar vertebra all these patients even the fracture of the ilium where cases where we have done all these treatments on ipd level but opd level cases are fractures of the anguli bhagna uh, the manibandha sandhi even Urupar Sandhi, uh, these are things. Uh, 
even the lower one third of the uh, tumor of the uh, tumorous this is also a fracture that we have done on uh, uh, opd basis uh, now the fractures are a common that we common that we do on the opd basis uh, now the fracture of the prahast and the angulis all these are the areas which we uh, which could should be done in uh, which were done in opd level yesterday that it was due to why the suresh kumar sir uh, we could say post and due to the skill uh, 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 due to the complete uh, dedication by the trilok sir that we are able to uh, think of uh, bhagna chikitsa in pune and bhagna chikitsa in punar was happened so once they when he came uh, and his lecture in uh, which was delivered on the pune city of aguru vaidya kolot sir he explained that uh, the which are the bhagnas that you take for opd level so he told that anything that is in the prahasta that is from the hand oh, you can do anything that is over here are the bhagnas that you could start with and his words of uh, on the explanation of it that he always told that these are the areas like iske aage aur iske aage aap ye wala bhagna zarur le but don't think to do any treatment of bhagnas which are on this part because according to him ye jo baat yahan ki baat you are too minor uh, secondly there is immense of muscular uh, protect over here so yahan par bahut uh, uh, ye abhigat se yahan par bahut zyada raktasrav ho raha hai aur fir don't take it so according to his word we were going but when we start doing any treatment we can't be confirmed ki humne yahi bhagna lene hai a patient comes to us as it is uh, it is in very rare conditions that the patient is going to opt for bhagna chikitsa to an ayurvedic setup it is uh, only possible due to nishtha of the vaidya uh, of the patient in the vaidya so aise hi cases hamare paas aane wale hain ki jo aapke pura bharosa rakh ke aayenge aur usme bhi hum agar ye selection criteria lagaye ki uh, chalo पुरपर संधि भग्न वी आर नॉट गोइंग टेक अवसर संधि भग्न वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू टेक और देन इट बिकम्स इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो एज एन ऑन व्हेन वी स्टार्टेड ट्रीटमेंट द फर्स्ट भग्न वी हैड ऑफ द टीबीआर दैट आई केस आई डिस्कस येस्टरडे एंड लेटर ऑन वी इन द लास्ट 20 इयर्स वी डिडंट स्टॉप इवन फॉर सिंगल केस वेयर वी फाइंड पेशेंट्स ऑफ ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ भग्न बीइंग ट्रीटेड इन पुनरोस then we had a case of uh, uh, bhagna of the maxillary bone we have a case of uh, bhagna of the ounce sandhi uh, uh, which was there then we had a case or uh, then we had multiple cases of uh, bhagnas of uh, the ilium uh, of the hip bone so ye sab baatein agar shuru hoti rahi then we couldn't stop them and uh, when we were doing the analysis of the data we would find that the, yeah the areas which with uh, the suresh kumar sir had told us that these are the cases that you don't do he meant that these are the cases which are going to be complicated not to be on the opd level basis that was the patitarth uh, or what was was the gist what we can say we can conclude after 20 years of work so it's very simple that these cases which are have which were to by him that you need not handle where conditions where you need the patient to be admitted now when i was uh, uh, it was in 97 when the first time we uh, visited uh, some orthopedic patient uh, opd is in kerala we had heard of kapatashen kapatashen for different cases kapatashen for janu kapatashen for uh, pot spine kapatashen made for small children with rickets and polios and uh, they were uh, uh, they were face uh, uh, there were patients who had a fall from uh, coconut tree and had multiple bhagnas of uh, at least 40 pieces of the bones being done and all these patients get treated with ayurvedic treatment in kerala so while going to all these cases what we understood that it is necessary that you need not have this in mind that a bhagna needs to be fixed at one zone no you need continuous observation you need uh, a regular follow up and you need to learn from 
each and every stage and accordingly you need to treat so you if there are multiple hurdles on there are uh, multiple challenges then oh, for yes, segment so that 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 one burner, you have to uh, you make union of each and every burner at each and every uh, follow up of it so for that the patient being admitted is very important secondly in condition where there is fracture of the ilium fracture of the hip bone fracture of the shoulder joint fracture of the tricuspid or the uh, spine and uh, multi you can't admit, uh, you can't uh, have the patient to be moving out of the hospital even though you are going to do thara on the third day or on the fifth day making the patient comfortable in the hospital is more important as i was explaining uh, in the case before if we have a fracture of the skull then and there is the patient is stable say she might turn fatal in one sudden night at at the night maybe she had jwara and there was raktasrav so you can't uh, you can have such fatal conditions in normal patients too so it is always necessary that when there ever there is marma bighata when there was there is a jirana avasta or whenever there is a uh, avastha where the bhagna sthan is on these red spots these are the conditions where we had to admit the patient for treatment now let's see few cases i would be showing only three cases for uh, ipd cases of you for you now this is the case uh, where the uh, bhagna is of utkishta vishlishta sandhi so the patient was has come to punar was approached by the roys as per with the reloader says and uh, this uh, due to such a thing what is more important that uh, respect and responsibility rise on the physician and on the chikitsale so this is a case uh, in uh, 2015 so why am i uh, naming uh, the details over here because i have the fresh uh, pictures of the same patient over here with us and you would be watching them so after 5 years if the case is uh, such then uh, we should be uh, satisfied with the case so what is condition the farmer function sandhi sandhi show priya hand so that is the uh, three days farmer the vran due to fall on the third day then tivra ati and malavashamba then the patient has hypertension for last 25 years and has uh, had an uh, uh, in for last 15 years and uh, due to this and uh, he had a fall uh, he is uh, is from the rural place and the uh, x ray shows that there is a subtrochanteric fracture of neck of femur the tuiko was also done to understand whether he is uh, he goes for a surgery and the tuiko says that there is mitral wall prolapse and so is not compatible for surgery and the fitness is rejected at the local levels of the rural hospital so now here i am just uh, trying to show you that this is the condition this is the show that is in the vamo vanshana of the patient and there is one more priyani this is just a admission note which we follow in tunnel now what is done first the admission is designed confirmation and consent is taken from okay and this is an uh, the under it is understood that the patient is hiru and there is a mitral wall prolapse and so all the necessary conditions uh, are uh, taken as i am explaining about the samadhi so yesterday i was explaining about what is more important that we have to take a consent of patient now in the treatment you see this is the plot common part of pattern protocol followed in puno this uh, right uh, the abhyantar chikitsa is written then the karma chikitsa is written then the ahar details are given and so now here abhyantar chikitsa karma ahar and nursing or paricharya uh, has also been told nirlavan ahar is the more important thing then asti bhagna kar ahar bhagna sandhan kar ahar is told praya drav akshira gruta pradhan ahar is to be told to the patient everything was written down and that should be treated so it is after few days that we saw that now let me show you the x ray of the patient now uh, as i always say that this is not uh, uh, this doesn't x-ray doesn't speak completely of the bhagna but still you can see the vrana show for taken place due to this bhagna see this vrana show and the ati or the bhagna of uh, vamavashana sandhi in three parts this is the surgical neck 
it is a trochanter and this this is one slim fragment this second and this is the third so the hip bone is uh, fractured and displaced and making three parts of it it is uh, made into three different parts so it is a complete fracture and the only treatment for him was replacement of the joint completely now what happened in this case the shing was done dhara pichu was done and this was the case after on the third day the picture was taken and still you see the arastata and run around on the fifth day we applied a bajrang lep rastana nambe halat lep guli for the shotha to ready and started with yesh ki guru to matra vasti also for the patient now here is the traction that is put after this is the condition this is how always we have to understand the bhagna of the bhangshan sandhi the drop fruit on the left side and uh, this is the position that we have given to him now this is the pop now this pop is of the shali shashti shti yes of which we spoke yesterday that after the pichu was the lip was done you tie uh, uh, yashti tandul the, the paste of rice mixed with kanji was mixed was done properly and then the patient need traction this is a rotational stop that was put and again to the rotational stop these are this is a, a gauze that is tied to a, two fingers of it keep the position of the leg in right anatomical position so this is the, these are the important things that were followed into the patient so sthiri karana is more important and lip is also important so what happened on the ninth day he had an upadrava what happened to this upadrava the patient was again as i have explained in the previous slide this was in a may season that the patient was admitted he has grana shofa he has this photo he has grushana uh, pak and shof over the left hand now patient is an uh, cardiac uh, patient have problems of the abdomen of the hrudaya uh, of the, uh, the uh, uh, one of the important abdomen uh, and also there is sharad to there is no exercise there is a rasa dushti there is uh, the patient is having pain krodh anger all those things now counseling of the patient and uh, it was an important key to solve this thing and upasthiti of the chatushpada sampachik kesala now let me say i have written a word called ahara rahasya now this patient was admitted and uh, you would be surprised and we were also surprised that what happened that patient had a habit uh, of eating food and uh, he used to eat such that he did, he always used to chew the food and throw out the uh, whatever was left he used to spit it out so this was very unique uh, method of eating and uh, to her sir his wife was she was a farmer uh, but not a farmer by uh, profession because he was in one of the uh, porters or on the mill in bombay served there for 30 35 40 years and after retirement he had turned to his village again so uh, such a kind of a mentality and uh, his wife was there to serve him always with food uh, and again he fell down and had a fracture and with his hypertension and he being a cardiac patient there is always a, 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 a swabhav or there is a the uh, paddhati or there is a tradition to fulfill the demands of his whatever he asked for and uh, so this uh, person had this method that he uh, had developed a nausea of of uh, drinking anything or what you could say of uh, uh, gulping down the food so he used to gulp down only the juice of the food and he used to throw to the uh the fibrous part which is left after chewing the food so so we never we could never we none of the patient would say by himself that what is the lifestyle that he is following so one of my houseman on her follow up uh, ended up going to visit this patient during his food uh, when he was taking the food and uh, she was surprised to see that the, the his wife was holding two bowls next to him and with one uh, bowl she was feeding him and another bowl she had folded just so that he spits out the uh, fire spark and uh, so she questioned that what is this so she told that this is uh, she her wife told that this is his habit to 
spit out the fibrous part and drink in the juice so when i was i heard this there was this surprised and everyone was shocked and uh, but now this is his habit okay you can't change the habit of a patient so i had to convince him and uh, tell him that if you are not taking the parthiv ausha whatever is going into your body is all up or jelly and that would always increase to create and if you are again shigru kopti this is sharad rutu and uh, you are not having a uh, mindset then all this would turn to create more of upadrava for the vrana guna uh, chikitsa and the upadrava will make you stay in the hospital for a longer period now two things that the patient was convinced that he had to take ayurvedic treatment because he was not uh, uh he, he it was not possible for him to go for a surgery because they had denied him he has none come not come to ayurved for by his choice but by his relative's choice and uh, again that he had all number of these myths in his mind about uh, certain things so all these things then to counsel this patient and sometimes uh, use all sam dam danda bed and see to it that he follows the person now due to this what happened is so there was show to all over and uh, due to which we had to do uh, the treatment part became very difficult and so there were there was uh, we had uh, to use a stopper then function we had to use uh, the dhar parishik on the function sandhi then the chikitsa also differed it went with murune ft gurutha instead of lep goli we used uh, rakta chadan manjishta st shatadhuta gurutha sadale patra then gauze of foot and then and we used a stopper like we used this kusha throat now this uh, uh, uh what you could a splint that was specially prepared for this now we get such side of slip prepared by certain uh, people who draft make such types of uh, uh, instruments now there is this is a long kusha that is used and this is a leg that is tied up and there is also a round about like this that is put on the ilia so this is how the grana bandha was done then again this is on the the same thing on the 7th day 17th day traction of about 4 kg were applied and on the second uh, 22nd day the patient was getting getting much more better better and better and then in the position to be charge and on the 24th day this again negruda this bachelor was uh, used for dhara yst pichu then uh, it was again yst the lip yes it is done in mandishta then this is tandula pishti kanji veshtana that is done to her entire leg this is how the cast was put for the patient so this is a x-ray of the same patient after one and a half year right yeah at one and a half year so for example here again it shows the patient is now mobile the patient is walking the patient is much more better is uh, doing all his nitya karmas with only a single stick with him and the video says that after 15 days follow up regular then there was he was asked to give 15 day follow up then he was asked to give regular follow up after 3 days 3 uh, months and then today after 6 months see the patient is mobile without any medication or anything and so this x ray sorry this was not after 1 and 1/2 years was after 6 months and then this is uh, that after 3 months and uh, 12 days was the x-ray and the video it has i have misplaced but i have taken a fresh uh, one which i would be showing you now now we took an x-ray of the same after 6 months and this is the radiology stage that ossification is still going 60 to 70% ossified good prognosis without surgery excellent is the result are the opinions of the radiologist put on the x-ray now this is the first picture this is the second and this is the third and just for his interest he had taken a, another view of the same to explain this so this is the key now for example what i was speaking before that whether x rays do speak about the magna sandhana to for us so the answer is no because here when they say that is 60 to 70 percent ossified now when we learn about modern uh, uh, fracture healing it is a very different there is a five folded uh, fracture healing process in modern science and for us what's more important it is not only that we burn upon ati asti and asti no 
we work upon vata prapo we work on pitta dushti we work upon shleshmo vruddhi thirdly we work upon rasa dhatu we work upon rasa dhatu we work upon the sattva dhatu we increase the see to it the dagni and the mala so our treatment is much more very 17 folded treatment what we use and that is in everywhere in all the chikitsas that we use so our treatment is much more uh, what you could say broad spectrum it is again much more specified so all these things are much more on a different branch and so we understand the case by examination of the uh, factors in all not only one so dharana sarma is more important movements of the joints are important the folding of the asti or the ashaya is important all the factors will become the situation now i would just need to ask this from this uh, presentation and show you the picture that is today so this is the you saw this session uh, having a, a sukhas uh, position now So, this is patient having a sukha ashan. Now, if with the fractured patients, it is uh, this uh, was uh, the pick that was taken the day before. Okay. Now he is this is the function sandhi and in proper position. Now, I would be interested to show you his uh, his walking habits. Right? Does he walk? This is. Uh, I would need to work on this also because it is going to work. Just hold on. That this patient with uh, this is a situation five days five years later. In, uh, he started walking on his own after three months with crutches. After six months, he was absolutely normal with uh, just a single stick he could walk from. And now he has a uh, he can walk on his own without any hold without anything to hold on with. We end on with this uh, with this slide.
we would be running in short time so maybe we would uh, uh, some things in future and make a uh, quick uh, move to our uh, last slide yeah we are here now what uh, what are the things that i achieved in uh, uh, getting the patient uh, over here the admission was for 34 days the total appropriate expenses for this patient was 57000 in two those five years ago experience added to the knowledge knowledge to skill and skill to success and uh, it, it helped to uh, build the social image in the rural places also and uh, this is how what we achieve uh, by uh, getting it that what is the aim of one who have been achieved by such uh, such experiences that uh, to get ayurved into the mainstream of the health system of the society so here So uh, there is uh, one more case over here. We we'll just go to the final part. This is again a, a, a student of. Uh, this is in the case. This was an old case of 2007. Uh, it's a case very well treated by uh, uh, by the Trilok sir. And so just I would try to emphasize on it. It is a case of uh, Mukhshot and the bone uh, that is of the maxillary bone over here. And uh, I would, uh, yeah, this is more important. This was tickets are done for it. That uh, Anjana, uh, Karnapurana, Sarvangasnayana, Shirobhyanga, Gandusha, Anuvasana, Nasya. And uh, the Anjana was done three days a day with Gokshira. Uh, Karnapuran was done twice a day with, uh, with uh, uh, Kshira Tela, uh, with uh, uh, Yashti Tela. And then Chandan Bala Lakshadi for Abhyanga, Hima Sagar for uh, Shirabhyanga, Yeshti Gandush was done twice a day. Vasan Basti Asti Mayu once a day and Shirabala Tail Nasya three times a day. Now all these things were done. And uh, more important, this is the reduction that was done of the patient. Now a pillow was kept below the head, shoulder of the patient, the way was standing on the head and the mouth was kept open. And then the cotton tissue was placed on the lateral side of the lower jaw, and then maximum patient uh, pressure was given and was maintained for some time. And uh, with this case, uh, you see uh, the picture, uh, and you the, it is self explanatory Now this is the day one. You see nature show Adhyata and okay. Now in this case, what was told by one scientist that uh, the patient would need to since this being a fracture over here. She needs to go with the surgery, uh, and then later, after three to four years, she would need a uh, again a plastic surgery over here uh, uh, to be done. Now, the prominent bone, that is the maxillary bone, was uh, was fractured, and uh, the only way to get it replaced was uh, was to give a a, a transplant or, or another bone to be over there, and the surgery, and then the post surgery. But with uh, all the treatment that was done by Ayurveda and the confidence of uh, with the confident of uh, Vaidya Trilokar, this was what he had stated on the case case paper that after one and a half months the jaw movements would be possible to be done completely within one year and a half. About sixty percent uh, purpose of the cosmetic will be resolved. After three months uh, she would be recovered eighty percent, twenty percent would still remain. And if needed after one year uh, and half month uh, and uh, one year six months, MRI can be uh, uh, done. And if needed, she can go for a surgery. But uh, the patient uh, where uh, uh, since the patient wanted to uh, and the relatives wanted to avoid surgery, 
they had a faith, uh, belief and faith in ayurved and within 5 days the patient was relieved 50% and the uh, uh, skills of treating bhagna was again reemphasized so all these things were done uh, under the roof of punarvasu chikitsale by vaidya trilok sir and so this is the case on dishal this is a situation you see it is much more better and uh, the statements of vaidya trilok sir what were written were were true Uh, to be successful, the patient was able to do all job movements in six diamonds. Cosmetic purpose was achieved, uh, and there was no need of any MRI or surgery. And this is the case of the patient. After two years, she visited surgeons, and this is the clinic, and this is her sick. Now we see that if such a result, ah, uh, ah, uh, we such good results we get in Bhagna uh, Chikitsa, then why not uh, we opt for the same? And uh, this is one more important point that I wanted to show. But let us uh, skip off that case and come to the final part. Now there are certain guidelines in uh, Sushrut Samhita that he says that Utkrishta to Vishlishta Sandhi Vaidya Nud Ghatte Satsya Shitam Parisheka Pradehansha Avachare Adhigate Hato Vay Sandhi Swami Ati Prakrutim Puna. Now this is a very important thing that I want to emphasize on everyone's mind. So this has been the thing. There are we get. Yesterday, someone questioned me about the Janu Bhagna thing. There is what happens in Janu Bhagna. Either there is Vishlishta or Samslishta Sandhi. So, what is more important for Vaidya to do that he doesn't be gatte. It is not gatte that he he doesn't tie them too much. And there is Shita Parishekha Pradehanshya to be done. Apart from that, what is needed? Gruta Digda Patte Na Veshte Yatha Vadi. You have to put a pichu around it. And Patte Patte Osupari Kusha Dattva Yatha Vadi Na Maachir. Vishte Iti Vishlishte Or Churni Tasandi And Vishlishte Iti Srasta. So dislocation and bhagna together, if the case is such, this is what as the guidelines should be done by, to be told by the grantas. So we need to follow these guidelines and treat bhagna. That is the highlight. So these joints would revert to the normal on their own. Swami Ati Prakurtim Punaha. They would come to their normalcy by their own. That is more important. So while treating bhagna, more important is not to have something our mind and to emphasize upon. This is naturally what is to be happened. Going to happen is more important. Uh, now I come to an end with this uh, discussion. Uh, I would uh, like uh, the audiences to put their questions and the organizers to intervene. Uh, I would have some few slides, uh, but at the end I would uh, uh, reveal them. Okay. Uh, so till then, if uh, the organizer feel it's right time, they can get on some questions, and uh, I would be here to answer them in the last five to ten minutes, whatever it is still there. सर कुछ क्वेश्चन है हेलो सर कुछ क्वेश्चंस आए तो है तो आप लेंगे क्या उसमें अभी लेंगे हां चले ओके व्हाट टाइप ऑफ अभ्यंतर चिकित्सा वी शुड गिव ऐसा एक क्वेश्चन आया अस्थि संधारण वात प्रशमन द्रव्य आर मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टुडे इज लेक्चर आई वाज ऑन दैट मच I was uh, working on uh, more yeah. upon the particular yeah. part of it, but abhyantari for abhyantar for uh, shula prashman, we would need uh, rasaushadis like uh, brihadvaj chintamani and samir uh, pannagor makardvaj. Along with that, you can use tapadilu, uh, asti uh, sannanakar drugs like padma kashta, uh, kokilaksha, and things like that. Medicines from Madras, all all those things. Uh, you may use Google Kalpas also. Abha Google, Tripala Google, Yogaraj are the best of it. Again, Prava, Amruta, Asti Pachak, Dudha uh, are the herbal medicines which we use. Apart from that, you can use Gritha Kalpana. Yes, the Asti Gritha or Amruta Gritha or Shetha Gritha, depending upon the need. Or you can also prepare a Asti Rasayana Gritha and uh, uh, may be used. So treating a bhagna chikitsa, a bhagna patient also helps that patient to get rid of the vata prakop within the asthi if he is suffering from this. Yeah. Any other? Uh, when we treat a patient of bhagna, at which point we have to stop the treatment? Does it differs with joint to joint? Please explain. Which uh, 
I didn't get the exact question. If, if it is uh, to which joint? Uh, no, I didn't get it. Can the question be? Uh, when, when to stop our treatment? Might, uh, this might be about the external treatment we are uh, going to do. Because internal right, treatment, right. Uh, yeah. Uh, what is the question again? Can you repeat? When we treat a patient of Bhagna, at which point we, we have to stop the treatment? Does it differ? Okay, which which point we yeah. Join to yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good question. Where to stop? Uh, yes, yes. As I was saying yesterday, that uh, it is told in Sushri Savita, and that's what we follow. That in Balanam it is one month, and uh, Yunam it is uh, two months, and in Vardhakya it is three months. That is the thumb rule for uh, for And uh, he says that till then they come to their normal place. So while as a thumb rule, this should be followed by the Sharada. But if there are upadravas need to be treated. Take, take them into consideration differently. Sometimes the bhagna is associated with uh, uh, with vaikalya uh, uh, and that uh, needs to be taken uh, care in. So in old age and in uh, patients with krusha or alpashino and all the upadravita, for them we would need to see that unless and until they are rehabilitated. So uh, maybe there is 20 to 20 percent uh, deformity on strength of the patient. But at least 80 to 90 percent of the working is uh, uh, done to the normal courses. We should continue with that. Yeah. That may sometimes you need even you need uh, pindus with. You can advise the patient that uh, after six months, even there is even though if there is muscle wasting or the upagrohan of mouth is not there, uh, tirakandara snayu sankoch is there, the kriya saukari isn't there. You can repeat doing panchakarma or, or you can repeat with doing basti chikitsa or you can repeat pindas veda uh, anna lepa adhikriya yeah how to uh, do the position of the body parts uh, which have got bhagna while handling those yeah uh, i was explaining yesterday and also i showed it one of the case today that uh, if we have a uh, Mani Bandha Sandhi Bhagni, Sandhi Bhagna, uh, these questions are especially when the patient comes first of all to the clinic. So keep it in at most in the same straight line. So don't uh, give strength or uh, pressure on those. See to it that the patient is comfortable with. Or if the Mani Bandha Bhagna is there, then hold uh, around the wrist uh, comfortably. If the uh, Uru Bhagna is there, then give some. Uh, from Kusha Bilos. So all these things are necessary uh, to see to it that the patient is handled well. And uh, depending upon the place, uh, we have to uh, we have to handle the patient well and uh, keep it him uh, keep him at a good position so that the patient uh, doesn't activate the brana uh, also doesn't or the bhagna also doesn't uh, create more bhadrava. Uh, though it's not related to bhagna, but uh, can we avoid uh, the total knee replacements? Yeah, yeah, surely. Do not only uh, if when do not speaking about uh, bhagna chikitsa as well, but if the case which I was explaining of the child, you know, similarly we have to understand the role of sneha sneha upakrama is too much. Uh, just uh, it's uh, just we have to see to it that it's not only just to apply sneha, but here with old age, the agni of the patient that is also important. So it, uh, it comes under kai chikitsa, more important. Plainly to state that uh, we can avoid uh, total knee replacement, we can say that we can do good rehabilitation of total knees. So we can just uh, replace it by T, uh, TRK, total knee replacement, total knee rehabilitation can be done better by Ayurvedic treatment uh, and uh, necessary things, that is for sure. But uh, any statement that yes, we can totally rehabilitate, uh, replace it or totally stop it, it would say it would be much more than uh, uh, than the uh, uh, slow growth. So I don't want to make any tall claims over here, 
but uh, we should try that is more important yeah. i would just end up with the slide uh, as coming to the end so for me uh, i was uh, let us come up with the further scope and challenges so this is the further scope or you can say are the challenges what we generally face with so we have cases which we need to treat for bhagna which are arpal shino which are anatma vanta and uh, they are also vatatmaka sija and these upadrava these are always not only with us but also with the modern sciences they are kruchrena siddhanti that is to be understood so here nothing could be done with modern or ayurved but these are needed to be explained to the patients and if patient wants to uh, have some guidelines from us for uh, uh, as a nowadays is the fashion eh, that mala bagna hu nahi manun kay karayche so i i do not want to follow all bagna or if the vaidyas over here think that they do not want to follow bag, uh, have bagna in their life then they need to at least put this in mind that they should be uh, samyak ashino they need to be atmavan and uh, the vata prakop prashaman chikitsa needs to be done by them always well second part uh, for me as a challenge is that granthopta chikitsa and the method and skill set there is uh, no good linking between the granthopta things and present today so there needs to be a good work on this part also uh, so that we should have an opd of vagna only and so that we can have these patients more and more and uh, with ayurvedic set of grantha uh, grantha method we should work on that then skilled vaidyas with calculated risk and hard work is a need of time so they can have good work on this especially in old age cases the problem comes with the financial and with the nursing issues we had patients with uh, bhagna uh, kept in house not treated with ayurvedi not with ayurved and just no proper take care is taken the relatives and they just uh, pass on a very hard life so such this is the problem uh, it's a social problem and all those things so that's more important that is also an uh, issue to be worked modern investigation and boon on a first uh, is a uh, is a research to be done in interdisciplinary r and d that is what i think so so people who really are interested to do uh, some research work need to work on skill sets that more important so lastly i would acknowledge especially for uh, uh, a great uh, what you could say this lecture couldn't start with a word of uh, professor sir and wouldn't end with that he has been he has been the pioneer of uh, bhagna chikitsa in maharashtra in tuvasu and uh, so uh, think the things from the text to the practice is more important and such many people need to do these things so i would acknowledge all those uh, people right people who are doing is doing bhagna chikitsa in rural places without a proper degree that we call them as hardwaidya also these people are also a good tribute for the society mindset because if they went there a major class wouldn't have gone uh, with lay only as a major treatment so uh, today also there are many people who do only lay chikitsa and are famous for that so as massage has been a boon for ayurved similarly these vaidyas whoever uh, vaidus or these people whoever are uh, local like in the vanaspati shastra we know that these people who are uh, who run in gairan and everyone have good knowledge of vanaspati similarly these skill set hand sets are also important for us so a uh, great applaud for all these people right from uh, the rushis till the uh, lay people all doing good work. is necessary uh, apart from that uh, i would say that there are few guidelines also to understand this skill set is more important you need to uh, you can also see some uh, youtubes of uh, fracture healing and that would give you some guideline at least even though that has nothing to do with ayurvedic bhagna uh, chikitsa till you get good lines for you so i would uh, with all these things i would uh, settle down with uh, today's uh, words of mine and i would uh, uh, the important thing that i should uh, congratulate uh, and i should play my respect to ayurvedya pune and ayurved teachers association for giving me this platform and it is due to this covid lockdown that uh, they uh, that came to my mind that i should work, work uh, i should uh, speak on this and due to the adesh of panthe sir i thought of putting my uh, experience uh, together 
so even though this was not with uh, much of uh, homework of mine i have just been able to prepare these slides in a uh, few days so everyone who helped me out in this uh, effort of mine i pay my respect to them and thank you for your patient care so any last questions we have we can get or we can conclude yeah yeah sir we have two more questions can we have those sure sir. yeah sure okay uh there is one uh, with hello sir in rib fracture few times there is injury to lungs due to broken bone fragments can we do for such cases mm. the age of the patient it's a general yeah. question sir hello okay okay uh, so fine but again then uh, here it becomes important for us to understand that it is antakoshta vikruti also uh, or to some extent so the general methodology of the hara pichu would always help but uh, what happens to the uh, internal organs is uh, uh, difficult to state without having the perfect knowledge of the patient there a possibility to treat the bagnatic uh, bagna patients without uh, ipd set whether we can treat uh, on opd basis also yeah that's what i defined i made a clear cut uh, differentiation which are the patients to be done on opd basis and which are the patients to be done on ipd basis you can get all those details in my lecture which would be later uploaded on uh, on uh, youtube and if you have any doubts with related to particular case we are here here to help you out yeah. thank you sir the relevant questions are over now i think there are some more questions which are not relevant to the subject so shall we stop here sir sure 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 thank you okay uh, ayurveda or ayurved teachers association ke dwara ayojit is uh, vyakhyan mala mein uh, sir ne vaidy uh, yogesh kale sir ne bhagna chikitsa ke upar teen vyakhyan diye hai mujhe pura vishwas hai ki unke paas itna material hai ki shayad kam se kam paanch ya chhe vyakhyan usme se ho sakti hai लेकिन हम हमारे भी कुछ कंसेंट्स है रिस्टेंट्स है तो उसके वजह से मैं क्षमा चाहूंगा उनसे कि आपको शायद कम समय मिला है हमारी तरफ से लेकिन जैसा कि आप परिवार से है तो समझ सकते हैं कि थोड़ा सा सब लोगों को समय दिया है इसलिए आपको बहुत धन्यवाद देते हुए ये आज की मीटिंग यही खत्म कर देते हैं धन्यवाद सर थैंक यू थैंक यू